Namaskar. It means I respect the divinity in you. So that's a Sanskrit greeting among Ananda Marga and those who practice meditation. Earlier, I spoke to Dada. He's one of the monks of Ananda Marga that taught us meditation. And he considered my experience when I shared to him that I'm a survivor of COVID. So he really told me, oh, so you have experienced near death, near death experiences. Like, oh, Dada, I didn't consider surviving COVID a near death situation. I was, I was considering it like, I survive it. I have to survive it because my son took care of me, the girlfriend took care of me, so I must survive because I feel that probably I have to live because my family still needs me. Just like what happened to my father. Um, he died at 97 because he was born in February 1919. 19, 19, and um, when we made him feel that we love him and we still have the need for him, the near death experiences for several times in his life was not able to happen because he would feel that the need to stay because the family needs him. So COVID or not COVID, near death experiences, it's a choice. If the person um, is in a sick condition, whether um, what particular a sickness is that, it is a decision of the person who is sick, whether he wanted to outlive the sickness or not and by the grace of God you need to be connected you need to be devoted to the one true spirit that is guiding you like the forces that guides the star is the same force that guides you like God is in heaven and um, whatever is going on in my, our lives it's not us that fights the battle alone we must fight the battle with Him. It is the Spirit above that lives in our hearts. That's the most important thing. That's how people survive death and um, near-death situation because they felt needed and they have to stay. So if you were ever sickness that you have right now, you have to give it to the Lord. You have to find meaning in your existence if you are still needed or not. So you have to fight for it. Don't weaken because you have a less amount of antibodies and the virus is eating up your breathing. But you have to remember your purpose and why you're here and the need to stay. That is how we survive and uh, I also survive it because um, I also do proning position but according to Dada proning means it says a devo devotion it's a form of devotion and uh, that's how we we position ourselves when we respect the divine we do prone right like your knees are bended and you bend you forward your body down and you bend your body as well. That is how important proning is, is to respect the divine. But it is also one way of surviving the breathing process when you are having difficulty of breathing. That is a, a way to breathe properly, to recover your breathing, and you don't need oxygen for that. And I'm so happy that Dada was able to share it to me, like, yeah, the COVID is real. You have to be ready, and uh, don't weaken yourselves, and outlive the decision to to stay out of it or to survive it, and then you will stay. But nevertheless, you have to have social distancing. You need to have um, wear the face mask, the proper protocol, so to avoid it and not to go to many, many crowded places and like isolate yourself. You know, isolation is also a 
form of Ananda Marga. Like when you meditate, it's a form of isolation. When you go deeper inside yourself and when you breathe, yes, that is also a form of isolation. And when you isolate yourself, then that is the time the presence of the Lord will enter in your mind and heart and spirit yes so i guess that's about it i have said enough the readiness to survive is inside you the will of god hold on to it find meaning why you have to stay and you will live as long as someone needs you as long as it takes that you still have a role on earth you stay so I hope you learned something from tonight's sharing love is all there is Babanam Kevalam Namaskar <laughs>